What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Today I'm going to explain to you guys why camping level um, 10 or 17 is not necessarily a good choice to make. Now you can do that, but I'm just going to kind of give you the rundown on your options and how it will affect your gameplay if you decide to um, do something else. Now, I am going to be putting out a Missy's Building Guide video, hopefully later today. I am wanting to, I'm taking time on it, okay? I'm making a list um, for you guys, like for level unlocks and stuff. And I'm typing it all up so that you guys will be able to like print it out or look at it and say, okay, you know, between this level and this level, I have this, this, and this done and now I can proceed on to the next section. That is what I'm trying to put together for you guys so that you guys have a step-by-step -step guide to follow. Okay. So I want to make sure that I'm doing a good job on it. And then that way it's, you know, doesn't need any changes unless something in the game changes and then it will need um, updated based off of that. So like I said, if you have not already, hit that like and subscribe button. I put videos out all the time on the game. I try to keep up on it. it they keep upgrading it, so I'm just keep updating it. Um, all right, so if you are camping level 10 or 17 and you want to go up but don't know if you're able to, or maybe it's been drilled into your head that that is the only way to do it and that you have to be that level and blah, blah, blah. No, you don't, okay? No, you don't. And you don't have to have a feeder either. That is another bullshit thing. You do not have to have a feeder. You can, but I I don't like them personally. It takes time away from my game and they're just a pain in the butt for me. So it's totally up to you on you know what it is you want from your game. And if you're somebody who, uh, you know, screwed up your game, right? And you have a high level city, then you will need a feeder. That's fact. So, but right now, just bear with me here. So you've been told that rares are more easily obtained at a lower level because of the algorithm of the game, which is true. Okay. So let's say that somebody came to you or maybe it's something that you've noticed on your own and you've noticed that at the end of the day, let's say that you have a level 50 city, okay? And you have a level uh, 10 city. And then you noticed that your level 50 city ended up with more rares at the end of the day than your level 10 city. And let's just hypothetically say that both of you spent the same amount of time shopping the global market. Why did the level 50 city end up with more? Well, because algorithm is a little bit tricky in this game, for one. And a lot of people think that ending up with the, a lot of something at the end of the day means that, that that city has a higher probability of finding more rares. That is not necessarily true. You can have a higher algorithm on a lower level city and find less rares than on a high level city. Now, how is that possible? Because of how the rares are obtained. The algorithm is the, the way that the game spits out how many rares you're gonna see. So every time you open up your global market, you click on this, this trade depot here. The game controls what you see right here on this screen. It's, a, it's never gonna show you all rares, right? You're not ever gonna open it up and have it be all storage rares just looking right at you. Too bad, huh? But you will see a lot of burgers and shit when you get to that level. So the way that they have it set up is it is supply and demand and the, de the higher demanded items get purchased quicker, right? So there's less of them on the global market. But the rare items, you, you only see items for which you have unlocked. So the higher the level you are, the, the larger the variety of items you can see, which lowers the odds of being able to see rare items, right? But if you have, let's say you have five items in the game unlocked, just hypothetically. And let's say, okay, let's say you have 10 items in the game unlocked. 
it doesn't mean that if it doesn't mean that this is going to fill up with one of each of those items and then show you the rest in you know storage right sometimes they won't they won't even fill this whole thing up sometimes you'll open up your global market and you'll only see three boxes okay so algorithm is affected by when you click on the global trade depot and what you see here that's it after that you're on your own okay so when you click an item on the global market you travel to someone's depot they have all kinds of shit posted for sale okay you only see what you have unlocked right so if you're at a level 50 city it doesn't mean that that's all they have for sale it just means that's all you can see because of your level but what you need to understand here is that doesn't that's not algorithm so once you leave this menu what people have for sale after that the game has no control over that so the game isn't going to say okay well we're not going to allow you to see this dude's um this dude's stuff today you know um but what they here how do i put this you obtain rares uh, in many ways, okay? You're going to get them through group chest. You're going to get them through the, the pass. You're going to get them through shopping on the global market. Um, you're going to get them through the little bubbles that you pop around your city, the opinion bubbles and stuff. stuff. You're going to get them in group, you know, the little chests when you, the gift bought bags and shit that you walk around and get them from people's cities, stuff like that. And so you're just going to slowly acquire them, Okay. If you go to somebody's depot and you notice there is a rare item for sale and you leave that person's depot, you might miss out on something. But if you follow my videos and you watch my tips and tricks video, a lot of people have a tendency to post more rares after that. So if you camp that person's depot for a few minutes, you will likely end up with quite a few more rares, okay? If you click on lower level items, you're gonna up the odds of finding rares because a lot more lower level people don't understand the value of them and they sell them more frequently so you've increased your odds there so if you stay level 10 you are not going to have very much money you don't have donuts unlocked you don't have the group feature unlocked and you are very limited to what you can really achieve in the game. You don't have the pair, the mayor's pass unlocked or anything. So if it were me, I would not camp level 10. Now, yes, between level one and 18, there's quite a bit of gameplay that, that takes place during that time. So you're gonna upgrade your storage, even if you race to level 18, you're still gonna upgrade your storage quite a few times by then, right? Even if you don't spend a dime worth of cash on rares, which you shouldn't be spending any cash on rares but realistically even if i wasn't like hunting for rares if i was to do like a walkthrough and i was to go from level one to 18 as fast as i could it's on average people end up back in my group after they restart after three days now on average they end up with between 120 and 150 storage in three days so that is that's perfect okay but i see a lot of people saying oh i'm i have 300 storage and i'm level 10 why why that is ridiculous dude you don't need to do that and it's oh my god it's ridiculous it really is it's i have seen people and i'm not shitting you and i have the screenshots to prove it which i will make a video of i have seen many people come into my group as new players they start their city over and within two and a half months time they are ma almost max storage and then you tell me that you're level 10 and you're only at 350 and you've been playing for months and you have other feeders and you have this and you have that why is that well you're also not accomplishing other things that you would need to accomplish <clears throat> at level 10 you're limited to money so let's say you have a city and you're feeding that city money to buy rares. Okay, fine. But that doesn't change the fact that you're not accomplishing anything on that city. So if you want to remain level 10, you can. 
If you want to go to level 17 and camp, you can. But I'm going to explain to you why you would benefit from not doing that. And that, and here we go, okay? You do things your way, and I'll explain my way. So, I get to level one. I'm doing my stuff. I'm unlocking my slots. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I'm upgrading my rares as much as possible, my storage as much as I can possibly do it without spending cash. I've set my roads up to where they don't need any upgrades or anything, and I'm good to go on that. I'm you know, upgrading my homes as needed, regular homes only. I want to make sure that I have at least 35 of those because I'm going to need to do, you know, the war feature once I hit level 18. So then I say, you know what? I'm at level 10. I'm pretty broke. Um, I have no mayor's pass or anything. I think I'm going to go up to level 17. I get up to level 17 and I'm like, all right, cool. I got, I unlocked this mayor's pass here, right? And in this pass... I start seeing, okay, I have to earn X amount of points to unlock this pass, which means that I have to do assignments. So I'm looking at my assignments list for what I have unlocked for a level eight, a level 17 player, and I have production tasks, expansion tasks, um, earn simoleons, war tasks, airport tasks, um, Upgrades, production, pretty much, that's that's damn near all of it, I think. VU, if you have VU unlocked. Um, but you wouldn't have had VU unlocked if you were a level 10, so, well, maybe, I don't think, yeah, I think it's off population. But anyways, point is, you're level 17, so at this point, you're like, okay, I'm in a camp at level 17, right? So you're not going to be able to do upgrade tasks. The production tasks are going to take quite a bit of time. And you only have, I believe, 30 factory slots unlocked at that time. So those tasks are going to take longer. Uh, you're going to be making less money than a level 18 player because you don't have donuts unlocked. And you're not going to be able to do any of the war tasks and war tasks there, I think there's like seven or eight different war tasks that you're not going to be able to do. Um, coupled with the the airport tasks with, and then the, um, the upgrades. So there's not a lot you can do at that time. So now you're, again, you're not making very much money. And you're like, okay, I'm going to camp level 17 and try to win Mega here. Well, you're going to notice people have less points in... The 17, um, the level 17 group, you know, the competition for the contest of mayors. But that isn't necessarily because they know, you know, what they're, they know less, right? That's just because they're able to do less, which you're also able to do less. So it ends up being the same competition as level 18. So if you take the same people and put them in a group, they all have the same knowledge, but they're only able to accomplish the same exact tasks they're all going to have lower points. And then if you move all of those same people to level 18 and you increase their ability to make other choices, they're all the same in, you know, the same knowledge. They're going to go, okay, well, I can earn more points now. So you'll see an, an increase in points, but not in competition. The competition is the same. You know what I mean? They're not just, oh, they're so much smarter here. No, they're earning more points because they're able to earn more points. Just like you're able to earn more points. So, all right. You can choose to stay level 17 or level 10 when you don't need to. Or you can choose to go up. If you choose to go up, you will be a lot better off because you're going to accumulate rares a lot faster. Having a lower algorithm at level 18 versus level 10 with a higher probability of acquiring more rares is more beneficial than having a lower algorithm or having a higher algorithm at level 10. So you can choose to stay level 10 and have a higher probability of seeing rare items pop up in the global market, or you can choose to go to level 18 and acquire more items. What is your choice? What, what, what really matters to you? Is it the end result that matters or the algorithm?
Would you rather end up with more rares at the end of the day? Or would you rather have a higher probability of seeing them on the global market? Because at the end of the day, as a level 18 player, you're going to have had and accomplished more rares and money, mind you. And I'm going to explain why that is. Once you hit level 18, you're going to be able to join a group. First off, when you join a group, you'll be able to talk with other mayors and trade with them and say, okay, look, I got, I got five dozer and I need five storage and I need storage locks. Somebody says, okay, cool. Come on over. Let's do the trade. Okay. So that, that is a huge benefit for you being able to get help from other people. And if you're in a good group, people will help you. But you have to be you know, willing to do the same for them as well. You know, you can't just be a mooch. But then you also have the ability to make more money. Okay? So when you're level 17, you don't have donuts unlocked. Donuts are your main money maker. You're going to produce flour and donuts day and night as a level 18 player. When you do this at level 18, you will produce... Um, a donut every 45 minutes, okay? If you are running donuts 24 hours a day, that's 1,440 minutes a day is a 24-hour day. If you're making a donut every 45 minutes, you're producing 32 donuts in a 24-hour period. If you're selling those donuts for the maximum price of $950, then you're bringing in a total of $30,400, Every day, every 24 hours, like clockwork, with no problems at all. But you're not going to be doing that as a level 17 player. So you're missing out on at least $30,400 by being level 17 and not level 18. You're also working towards your city achievement because you have a city achievement to make donuts. So you'll be also working towards that and you'll be able to cash out on that. There's three... Um, three levels to that city achievement, like all of them. You will also be winning the contest of mayors because it's going to take you, look at, you got to look at the leagues and understand once you hit level 18, right? You got one, two, three, four, five. You have five weeks before you can even get into mega. And that's saying that you get promoted every single time, which you should be able to. You might have trouble in Metro if, you, if you're making mistakes picking your assignments. But you're already looking at five weeks before you get into Mega. So if you're level 17 right now, right, and you're, you're slacking right now on, oh, well, you know, I want to have, I wanna have uh, 400 storage before I try to do Mega. Well, and you're at like, what, 380? You're going to have 400 by the time you hit Mega if you were to go up to level 18 now. Because you're looking at five weeks Five weeks of winning the contest of mayors, five weeks of trading with club members, of earning points towards a, a mayor's pass. You're also going to be getting the group chest. Okay, so you click this, you click challenge, and you see the group chest. And you'll see that if you get a legendary chest, if your group hits a legendary chest, you're going to get 120 cash a week for that, plus 15 randomly awarded rare items from that chest. Then you have the VU pass on the, the war screen. If you're somebody who purchases that, you'll also have those, um, those rares, but you'll also have temp storage. Okay. So you'll, you'll be able to, to cash in on that temp, that temp storage as well, which is also a benefit that you don't have at level 10. Okay. So now you've been able to win. Here's the deal at the end of the two month period, as a level 10 player, I've been looking at people that have been camping level 10, and then I've been looking at people that have been doing it and following my guide. At the end of three months, as a level 10 player, you will have maybe somewhere, depending on how much you know you play, and if you're able to feed money to that city. But if you only have one city, then it's going to be a lot less. People end up with somewhere around 400 to 500 storage space as a level 10 player after playing for like two or three months, okay? If you play the Missy's Building Guide, you will end up with around 600 storage after two, two and a half to three months. 
you will have won the contest of mayors five to six times, roughly. And I'm talking the Mega League, okay? You will hit first in Mega at least. If you're doing it right, you should have won five or six times by now. And this is something that I have proof of that pe multiple, not just one, multiple players have done in my group. And I will provide you guys with screenshots of all of their their stats and everything, okay? You will have acquired 1,500 platinum keys, roughly. Just under maybe about 1,000 gold keys, depending on how much you've been launching your VU tower. Your land, beach, and mountain will be fully unlocked. You'll be sitting at at least 600 storage after two and a half to three months. You will have acquired every contest of Bayer's building that you have participated in as far as the pass goes. You will have that temporary storage as well, okay? You should be converting your, uh, your residentials into gold epics because that's what everybody else has done here. Everybody here that follows my, my advice, they hit gold in 20 minutes or less, 40 minute, minute sets if they don't prep, okay? And they also end up with um, every building that they do an epic project on ends up being gold. They don't settle for less. There's no need to, okay? They have, usually they have a pretty nice stock of um, silver tokens and gold tokens by the time they they unlock them at level 24 because they've lost the war enough times to where they've got a bunch of silvers and then they get the, the golds in the mayor pass. So um, most of them have purchased at least three Maxis uh, manors, which the first one is a thousand cash, the second one is two, and the third one is 4,000, and the fourth one is 8,000, okay? So they have purchase their they all could purchase their fourth one but they're choosing not to right now because they want to save their cash right now um they also have all of their shop slots at max okay so every single slot that includes the seasonal shop because you need to have that at max okay if you're below level 24 you do because you need to be able to do those production tasks um and this is just but that's just what they've accomplished in two and a half to three months. And you're at level 10 and have a, haven't accomplished anything like that. All you've done is you have a more you have more storage at level 10 than they did. So as you go up to level 18, you'll you'll max out your storage. Um, but the problem with that is you also have to keep in mind that every time you upgrade your storage, every five times you upgrade, the cost of the items needed or required goes up by one. So then it's going to start asking you for 25 of each storage item. So once you hit a certain point, you're gonna to need to have 75 space at, at minimum, that's saying you don't have an overflow of one storage item to unlock max storage. Then you have to have VU and um, you need to have like beach and mountain and all that because you're going to want to do your uh your contest of mayor's assignments right and the longer that you camp level 10 the longer that you prolong all of the other success that you could be working on if you're somebody who chooses to work on one thing at a time it's going to take you 10 times as long to get to an end result if you're somebody who wants to work on multiple things at a time you can absolutely accomplish you can accomplish a lot in a couple of months. And it's really, if you pay attention and you follow everything in the Misty's Building Guide, it will not be hard for you, okay? It will be very, very easy. And I didn't just wake up one day and come up with this idea. I have well thought through my my plan, okay? And my, my advice. I see people and they think, oh my God, you know, no, you don't want to go up. You're just going to be so screwed if you leave level 10. You're just never going to find rares again. That is not true. Okay? You have a higher probability of finding them at level 10 in the, the global market. However, you're going to accumulate more as a level 18 player. And that's a fact. Okay? That's a fact. And I will prove it to you. I don't care if I have to go and buy a damn device and prove it to you. I will screenshot or whatever I got to do. I'll record the whole damn thing and do a walkthrough. 
the reason that I've never done a walkthrough for this game is because of how much real time is involved. If you, <laughs> can you imagine, you know, you do like a walkthrough on Mario or like, uh, like Skyrim or something. It's like an eight hour walkthrough to get from like the beginning to the end. You go through every level or whatever. Sims is not like that. We're talking real time here. Okay, so uh, 10 hours of runtime to watch me fucking play shops and this. Oh my God, it'd be the most boring walkthrough ever, right? I would have to stop the camera and say, okay, we're back after nine hours and this is what we've accomplished, you know? So just look at what all these other people have accomplished and look at what you have accomplished or whatever, you know, just analyze it, okay? You got this group of people that's at level 10 and these are their priorities and these are their accomplishments. You have this group of people with their priorities and their accomplishments. Which group do you want to be in? You know? I don't want to hear about, oh, well, you faster. Nee, nee, nee. I could find more rares at level 10. But does it matter at the end of the day when you end up with less? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. So you also have to be able to fund those rares. So unless you want to start feeding gold to another city, and then you also have to take into account that on a feeder city, okay, if you're using a feeder, you got to have... You gotta accumulate rares on the feeder, so you have to have some storage on your feeder. So you're gonna have to use some storage pieces in general, right? To unlock storage over there. A feeder is a pain in the butt. And if you play right, you don't need one, is what I'm saying. Um, if you follow my Misty's Building Guide 100%, you will have, and it's not if, it is a fact that you will have this result. And I have proof of that. Okay, now I am going to be collecting screenshots from anybody who's been following my advice, who's one mega, who's accomplished anything. And once I have all of those screenshots put together in a folder, I will start a video and I will flip through them and explain everything. Okay, uh, if I absolutely need to, I will pull out my uh, tablet that I have at home and I, I think I had a feeder at some point on it, but I'll wipe it clean. I'll reinstall the game and I will start over and I will do a walkthrough and go step by step and explain and show people exactly what they should be doing and how to prove that it works. Okay. So if you're wanting to camp level 10 or 18, if you're wanting to move up from level 10 or whatever, you can. You do not have to remain level 10 for that long. In fact, I advise against it. I wouldn't do it. I would just go to level 18. I really would. Because and I'm not saying, even if you climb to level 18 quickly, you're still looking at three days. You're still looking at, you're going to unlock shit between now and then. I think people, they don't understand how much time it takes. If I told you right now, if you told me you're level 17 and you have 300 storage, okay? And I said, all right, go, go to level 18 and camp and start doing the contest of mayors and go towards mega. You're the first thing you're going to say is, do you think I can win the mega with this much storage? And if it's around 300, 200, whatever. And I'm going to say, well, you're not even in mega. Okay. You're not even in the first league yet. You're still at level 17. So how much storage do you think you're going to acquire between now and when you hit mega? Quite a bit, especially if you're utilizing all of these rare, um, the, the rewards, chess, doing group trade, all that stuff. You're going to unlock your storage twice as fast than you would at level 17. So yeah, you're going to be able to win Mega. And you're going to be able to win Mega a lot easier in a group because you won't have to depend on only yourself. You'll have other players to help you. So if you, you won't have to hold on to you know, 10 of each beach item, right? You won't have to necessarily hold on to, you know, a ton of uh, VU. You should, you should have a backstock for yourself. But if you end up in a bind where it's like, okay, I have a launch three VU assignment, you can explain that to the group that you're in and you can trade rares for it, you know, if you need to. So your odds are going to be much greater and better of winning the contest of mayors the more storage you have, yes. But you need to understand the time between that. That is five weeks, okay? If you're at 300 now, 
and you have five more weeks and you're in this five weeks, you're actually able to accumulate more than you were previously, then it would stand to reason that now would be a very good time to go up, right? You can't screw up your city if you're below level 24. The only way you can screw your city up if you're below level 24 to where you would have to restart would be if you built homes that were not regular residentials. That would be it. So you want to make sure that you have at least 35 regular residential homes and that they are all for fully upgraded. Okay? Don't build anything else. Now, storage, yes, would be a problem. But as long as you're below level 24, you're still going to be able to find them. Okay, so it wouldn't be a necessarily a deal breaker, right? But make storage number one priority. You're not going to want to, a lot of people say camp level 10 and upgrade your beach and your land. Don't do that. I mean, yeah, you can unlock a few spots, but you really need to save those for the contest because those are some nice, easy 2K points. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, they're not easy if you don't have the, the items. Well, yeah, no shit, but you're going to have the pass, right? And you're going to not collect the rewards in the pass. You're going to leave them sit there uncollected because they're stored. They don't need to take up space in your storage when they're in the pass. So play smart, you know, play smarter, not harder. I am going to finish typing up the list and then I will put out the Missy's Building Guide video. There's already a, a Missy's Building Guide video up. There's a couple adjustments I'm making to it, but for the most part, it's going to be the same. If you are somebody who has done the Missy's Building Guide 100% as written and you've had success or whatever, even if you think you haven't had success, go ahead, screenshot it to me, send it to me. I want to hear from you. And um, that way, you know, if you're somebody who's done good and all that, I will put your your screenshot up in the next video. So put in your city stats. I need to know, you know, your storage amount, your, um, you know, your city level, how many times you've won mega, uh, how many maxes you have, how many gold epics you have, all that stuff. Put that in when you contact me. You can contact me on Discord. You can contact me on Facebook. If you type in, um, you know, Missy Ann, Marysville, Washington, uh, Right now, our group is full, and we're actually in war, but you can always try to reach out to me on the group if you can get in. Um, but other than that, you know, just hit me up in the comments section on YouTube and put it, you know, in the comments. How well have you done? So until I finish typing this up, I will not, I'm not going to put out the video until I finish typing it up. That way you guys can have a checklist, okay?